Hi guys! So today I thought, um, for this video I thought I would do a video on how I do my wings. Um, I've had a few people ask me about how to do it, so this is how I do it. What I use is the Blink, Barry M Blink, um, black waterproof, waterproof precision eyeliner. And it's suitable for vegetarians and cruelty free. It might be suitable for vegans, but you do will know you will need to double check on their website. I love this stuff and when I discovered it I have not looked back. I've used liquid liner, pencil, um I've used the sleep pot, um which is it's it's good. Um that's not too bad actually. But this has been without a doubt the best one that I've used. Um I've done my makeup to a point um because it's only going to come off soon anyway um so i just thought i would show you how i do the, the the flick now as you can see when i look i've got folds of skin which does make it more difficult if you use pencil um and when i'm dragging it sometimes it creases and it just doesn't look right so if you do have folds of skin this will work, but you do need to do it in some, maybe some a certain way. It all depends on you. There's no right way and there's no wrong way of doing it. The wrong way would be to do it on your mouth. Um, but there's technique ways. I wouldn't say there's a right way and there's a wrong way. It's the way that's you, that suits you. And you kind of work your own technique out. So this is how I do it. So first of all, I start with my the top of my lid um, and hopefully you can see what I'm doing I've got a mirror here I'm trying to hopefully you can see so I start with a really thin line on the the bottom of my lid sometimes I can do it fluidly excuse me I've got a dismiss sign um, oh. dropped it um yeah sometimes i can do it fluidly and sometimes i can't the other thing that i try to do is look up because that stretches the the skin on on my eyes the, the best um and it doesn't crease as much take each step at a time don't try and rush it because when you rush it that's when you make mistakes Okay, so I've done a thinnish line. You can get it thinner than that, but I've done, done a thinnish line, and I do that on both sides. So I'll just do this side quickly. Well, not quickly, but... You can also hold your, you can also um, pull back the skin as well. That sometimes helps, especially if you want to do it in one solid line. Um, but carefully and slowly, and it will work. It takes practice as well. You can't always. If you, some people can do it first time, but it does take practice. Okay, so to do the actual flick. Again, personal personal preference. You can um, do it in whatever angle you want, but the angle I do is from the corner, from the edge of my eyebrow. So there, I then work out. I hopefully I'll be able to dis to uh, describe this properly, but I angle the brush. Or the, the tip, I place down and I drag over. And that's how I do it. I sometimes want to elongate it, so I do it like so, so the, the flick is more, and that is how I do my flicks. That is pretty much it. So basically, you, I press the the tip against my eye, 
and drag it over slowly. The other thing, the other way you can do it is again, same kind of technique, but if you want it, you don't want such a big, a big area, you can make it skinnier. Um, and again, it's up to you what angle you want. And I just drag it down like that. And then I have that. So it's not as intense. And I just fill the gaps. And then I have that one. So it's not as big. You can have it um, slimmer as well. Um, and that is basically you just take the eyeliner over the eye. I'll do it this side. You take the eyeliner over the eye and then you just, you, so, I th you have to kind of like not angle it to your eyebrow. You just kind of like angle it down a bit like so and then pull across. That is how I do my eyeliner. Um, and then I will then put um, pencil on. Um, Mine's very blunt at the moment. I need to find my my pencil sharpener. I just do my waterline. And again, waterline. It's quite important that you do the top. If you're not going to use black for the bottom more so, you can use white, you can use brown. Um, it is entirely up to you. You don't have to do it black. But try and do the black in the waterline at the top because then it will carry on through instead of having it stop um, straight like here. Or you, you can tell it, there's a diff that, it, that you can tell that there's a difference and it makes it more fluid this way um, and then just do the top and then I get my mascara this is the new one I thought I'd try it so you're gonna have the first hand experience of if I like it or not so to do my mascara I go to the root and I wiggle up go to the root and wiggle up ooh I like this mascara it's making my eyes long, eyelashes long, not eyes, and wiggle up. The reason why I wiggle up is that it separates the um, the eyelashes and it doesn't tend to go as clumpy. Um, and then I would use a separator and I do it slightly just on the bottom lash. No, I am a big fan of this so far. I can feel it hold on to my lashes. Um, I can feel it putting product onto my lashes, and I can see a huge difference. Um, yeah, I am a fan of the Lash Vegas Black is Black with fibers. It's really, really nice. Goes on nicely. Doesn't clump. Um, yeah, it's clumping a little bit on this side, but I think that's just me, that's my application, that's nothing to do with the, the mascara, and just get my trusty, as you can see I don't curl my eyelashes, because I do have a curler, but I just don't use it. And then that is it. Um, before I put my mascara on, I put my powder on so that I don't get powder on in my um, um, my mascara. So that I would take photos, but I don't know how to put them on the video. So you're gonna have to just deal with this. Let's see if I can get. So that is. Flick, if you can see a difference, that one's a lot, a lot thicker, a lot bolder. Whereas that one isn't as much, uh, but you can get a lot um, more discreet. So 
see if you can see the eyelashes. Yep, so that's pretty much it. And that's all I do for my eyes. And but the, the applicator the this makes it a lot easier for you guys. Um I find it a lot easier. Um I do make mistakes. Um but it is all about practice, practice, practice. Um and you will get there. You will get there. Um it took me a long, long time. If I had this it would have wouldn't have taken as long, but um, yeah, uh, I'm def I'm definitely for it. I just, it is the best thing out for me. Uh, the best thing out of the Barry M line. It's my favourite Barry M product. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. So I hope that helps. If you, I hope you can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah. So, like I've said in all my other videos, oh, the other thing I use, I don't know if I mentioned, I might have mentioned it in the start of my video, I use this for underneath my eyes. It has actually worked. It's not perfect, and I would probably need a pencil more than a lip thing, but it has helped slightly with my dark eyes. It, is, it has... Um, subdued them slightly. Uh, I can still see them, and I'm still not 100% happy, but I think it's I'm on the right track. So, and that's all that matters. But I guess I could use it as a lipstick. Let's see. It's not actually super orange, and it's super glittery as well. It goes on quite. Oh. It looks really orange on here. It's not the same kind of orange. Bear in mind I haven't put anything else on. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? I actually wear that. As you can see, it's, it's, it is orange, but it's a, a more of a reddy orange than it is a more orange orange. So, anyway. So that's the look. That's how I do it. It's very, very simple. If, well, I say it's very, very simple. Once you practice, it's simple. If you have problems with doing it, remember to look. Look down to keep the eye taut. If you want to keep the eye even more taut, then to pull the skin that helps as well. Don't do it too much because it makes the distortion. The only time I would pull the skin, not like I said, not too much, is when I'm doing the top layer, not when I'm doing the um, the flick because you'll distort the flick slightly. Um, you can go as dramatic as you want, you can go as subtle as you want. This is the beauty about the cat eye. I've been wearing the cat eye for probably about A few years now. Um, I know I did it in uni when I was in uni, and that was what seven years ago. But I didn't do the actual flick. I always tried, but couldn't do it. Um, but yeah, it, like I said, practice and figure out a way for you to do it the the way that's you is gonna best suit you, and it works out. Um, I know my sister's been trying to do it for a while and found it a lot easier with the Barry M then doing it with liquid liner. Liquid eye eyeliner is a pain in the bum um, because it doesn't dry quick enough. Unless you can find one that dries quick enough, I would suggest you stay away from it. Um, pencil's okay if you've got really like perfect eyelids um, and you don't have creases like I have. When I have creases, this drags and it just it goes awful. Um, you also, the other thing that you can do is if you get an angled um, brush, you can put a little bit of black on, um, on onto it. It mattes it for you, but it also keeps it more stuck. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a look for other videos. I'm sure there's plenty of more detailed vi uh, videos from... People who've been doing it a lot longer than more professional than I am, but that is how I do my eyes. Um, 
like I said, most of the work has been done by the pencil or the pen. Anyway, right, uh, if you would like to subscribe to the channel, that would be great. If you'd like to subscribe to the Facebook page and to the Instagram page, that would also be great. All links will be down below. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I keep looking at the actual screen and not the actual camera, so if I keep doing this, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so I hope you have enjoyed the video and please like. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't. Um, yeah, okay, bye.